Hello and welcome to the Best Boys Podcast. I'm Danny. And I'm Vince. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading. Three minutes later. Thing. Oh, and I'm here too. A lot of good things have come out, so what have you watched this last three weeks? I have watched, I've rewatched the first Harry Potter again, um, and then I watched, oh, what was it? Um, it's called Pandemic on Netflix. Don't watch it. It's horrible. So it's kind of, it's kind of like, what was that movie that was like first person? Henry or... Hardcore Henry. Hardcore Henry, yeah. It was kind of like that, except they would occasionally um, kind of pan... Like, they would have a third-person view on it, but it would kind of switched a lot, so that was bad. And then just the acting was horrible, and yeah. The acting was bad? Yeah. In a movie? Yes. It was, it was not good, so... Anybody I, of note in it? No. Oh. Well, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I don't know if I've really... I don't really think I've watched anything else that I can think of right now. I'm sure I did, but I don't know. You'll think of it halfway through the podcast yeah. and interrupt something I'm talking about? Yes. Like you? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I watched... God, I don't remember... This is the thing with recording this sporadically is I don't remember if I talk about certain <laughs> things. Did I talk about It Comes at Night last time? I don't think so. Well, I saw it comes at night. If I didn't talk about that already, I watched uh, the Seven Samurai, which is a Japanese movie from like the fifties. It's what uh, the Magnificent Seven is like American remake of. Okay. And it's three and a half hours, so that's a that was a fun thing to sit through. Uh, it was really good though. Uh, and then I saw Baby Driver last night. Oh, how was, was that? Just as good as you think it's gonna be. Awesome. If not better. I, I was looking at Rotten Tomatoes for it because after I saw it, just read people's reviews, and it had there was someone that was like two stars because I couldn't follow the story. I'm like, really? You couldn't? It's not that hard to follow. Just if you uh, do this thing called pay attention. Paying attention is real hard. Ooh. Uh, so you know how you wanted to see the house? The house. Will Ferrell and Amy Oh, Palmer. yeah. It's got a hot, it's got a hot. 10%. <laughs> Hold on, let's see what people that watched it. Okay. Oh, it, wow. It just it literally just went up 14%. Oh. Uh, and it has 45 by people that liked it, or that were audiences. That's what it was. I watched Trolls, actually. Trolls. Oh, Trolls, the animated the, yeah. from that we talk about in our podcast. Episode 2 is when we talked about Trolls. Episode 2, Trolls has no plot, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Was that a good film? It was not a good film. It oh. was so bad, such trash. I don't know why I watched it in the first place, but I did, and I regret it. It was a waste of my time and my life. We're in episode 31. This is our 31st episode. And our most listened to episode is uh, 7. Is Jared Leto the worst <laughs> Joker? I wonder why that that one is the... Do you, though? Anyways, back to things that matter. Um, actually, that don't matter, but matter to uh, what we're doing. Apparently, Fox has scheduled six Marvel movies. Yeah, that's what I was reading when I when I uh, didn't say my name right away. So that's X Men. That's like at least two or three X Men movies, right? Because they something, ha- like something about X Force. Another, it says New Mutants two, a Storm solo movie, Deadpool three, Gambit, and another. Fantastic Four reboot. Yeah, they want to do a Fantastic Four <laughs> reboot for kids. That's not a joke. That was, uh, I think that was another Slash Films article, right, actually. A Fantastic Four for kids? It's like, yeah, it's a, hold on, Fantastic Four, like, more kid-friendly. Friendly. Maybe, maybe so they can actually get, like, a little bit more money on that, because parents aren't, parents aren't all going to take their kids to see Deadpool or something that's gory and yeah, inappropriate rumor kid friendly fantastic four reboot in the works do you think that fox will ever do the smart thing and do what sony did and just let them let them have the character but still own the character hopefully do you think, I, you think they'll hope. be like hey you guys can use the x-men you guys can use deadpool you guys can use the fantastic four fantastic four in the avengers universe would 
really make Fantastic Four better. Mm-hmm. But also that would mean they'd have to. I mean, their Deadpool is fine. Yeah, they, yeah. I'm just saying it would. It, they can put them in like all more the same stuff, stuff. Yeah. Like they can put him and Spider Man together because him and Spider Man are like mm-hmm. friends in the comic book. But that would mean they would have to do the Spider Man thing and reboot them for the third time with new people, maybe. I don't know if they would be like, you know what, let's just use the same people we used in the reboot, which, let's not do that. Because that would make for great jokes. They could be like, uh, Kevin America could walk up to the Human Torch and be like, I feel like I know you from somewhere, yeah. or something like that. And then just be like, oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> you can always just, they could always just be like, hey, uh, butting heads, stuff like that. And then X-Men versus Avengers could be like a thing they do. Stuff like that just would really work in their favor because they mm-hmm. would make money too. Yeah. Also, speaking of Avengers, they won't let Tom Holland. I'm just looking at that right now. <laughs> Tom Holland is such a like a like a, a little boy, <laughs> and yet he's like what twenty something. He, he's like twenty two, I think. I mean, after everything he's said, yeah, I get why. <laughs> I think he's like all his interviews. He's always like he he announced that there was they're making two more or three more Spider Man standalones. Oh. And he was like, during an interview, he was like, oh, I don't think I was supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> 21, yeah, 22. I thought he was older for some reason. No, he might be, I think he's 20. Anyways, um, yeah, he's in Untitled Spider-Man Homecoming sequel, which uh, Spider-Man Homecoming had its um, press preview on Wednesday night, I think. And uh, uh, Hannibal Burris on Tuesday night, he tweeted like, I need someone who looks like me. I'll pay you $500. Send me pictures. And he sent some random guy to the uh, Spider-Man premiere. And he, this random guy did, like, red carpet interviews as Hannibal Burris, And the, <laughs> people, the, the people didn't notice that it wasn't him. I don't think. Mm-hmm. But it was like, it didn't look anything like him, which was really, really weird. Let's see. Oh, some of the characters' names are put up here. Pepper Potts is returning Ooh. after not being in any movies recently. <laughs> Donald Glover is playing Aaron Davis. Who's Aaron Davis and why? Vin Diesel coming back for Groot. No. They could, they could get anyone. Yeah, but, but it's it's Vin Diesel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Aaron Davis is a man willing to buy Chitari-based equipment from Adrian... Tombs criminal group is apparently the dad or stepdad to Miles Morales mm-hmm. in like the comic books and or his he's the uncle sorry in the uni- ultimate Marvel comic books Aaron Davis was the uncle of Miles Morales and the expert thief known as the Prowler while stealing technology from Osborne Industries a sp- Spider genetically enhanced from uh, his formula crawled into his bag and later bit his nephew, granting his nephew powers and turning him into Spider Man or into the new Spider Man. Davis blackmailed his nephew into an alliance with him, so he's gonna either play Miles Morales' uncle and Miles Morales is gonna be spy- in MCU too, or he's just gonna play Prowler and just be a friend of him. Peter Dinklage, rumored for Infinity Ward. I I heard that. I think people were saying... That, that's been rumored for a while. I think he's going to play... Oh, I, don't, I was going to say Brainiac, but that's the wrong universe. Um, Modoc is who people think he's going to play, who's like... Is a former employee of Advanced Idea Mechanic, Mechanics... Why did I say Mechanics? <laughs> who undergoes substantial mutagenic medical experimentation. Yeah, that's who... That's who he Like, people were like, oh, that's who he's going to play, because it's a... Uh, Big head and a little, there's like nobody, little mm-hmm. to nobody, and that's just that's just racist. <laughs> the little people. <laughs> the Gambit movie got like pushed back though, didn't it? Because it lost its director. I didn't know that. The uh, yeah, the Channing Tatum Gambit movie for some reason. He's not Gambit. Like they went, they were so good with casting Tom Holland. Well, that's that's Disney. This is Fox, and they did Fantastic Four reboot, and made Miles Teller. And that one guy who played the thing, so, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. We'll see. They just need somebody, like, they probably just want somebody who's got, like, a big name. Yeah. That's really gonna work for them. Yeah. I mean, I'll see it, probably. I don't know, I haven't seen any of the X-Men. I've seen X-Men, the first class of the first one, right? 
with the reboot or with the oh the, um the kids that's because that's the only one i've seen i think i think i think so because it goes first class days of future past apocalypse and i've only seen that yeah, one first class i've seen bits and pieces of fantastic four reboot and the only good movies that or in my from what i've seen the only ones that are good that fox has made so far are logan and deadpool and i like the original fantastic four they were, i'm saying for their like their new ones oh, that they're still saying, making yeah. Because, yeah, the well, that's, looking back at it, it's not good, but it was enjoyable to watch. Mm-hmm. And you didn't, like, it's back when you didn't really think about things that were stupid while watching it. Mm-hmm. Like, how the new Fantastic, plus they had action in it, unlike the new Fantastic Four, where it's sitting in dark rooms talking while action plays on a TV in the background. Mm-hmm. That was my favorite scene, when they were in that conference room and they were showing what the thing could do on the TV, but not gonna, they're not going to show you what he actually does. Mm-hmm. Oh, Netflix is bringing Sense Eight back. Are they for a two-hour season finale or a two-hour series finale? <laughs> oh, because apparently people liked that show. Oh, some people did. Some we people talked liked about it. we talked about it uh, two ep- last episode or two episodes ago, mm-hmm. and we talked about how graphic the things are. Yeah, I remember one thing that I heard about how something there is a lesbian sex scene where it shows a dildo dripping. Oh, <laughs> like it just. Sh- I was like, I was like, the Wachowskis are visionaries, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm just waiting for them to make like a Wachowski cinematic universe with the Matrix and Cloud Atlas, Jupiter Ascending, V for Vendetta, all in the same universe. Because <laughs> it would, wouldn't work. No, but they would try. <laughs> and I'm talking about cinematic universe because I'm trying to do a segue into. For some reason, this says. That we could be getting a uh, James Bond cinematic universe. I don't know how. Like so that, many cinematic universes now. The only reason that they would be doing this is is so they can make villain standalone movies, which could be good. But then name any villains from the Daniel Craig standalones or mm-hmm. from the Daniel Craig Double Sevens. Like the good villains are. Jaws, Doctor No, man, I feel dumb because I don't remember that guy. The guy with the hat, who in Goldeneye no one was allowed to play because he throws the hat. Oh, um, God. Oh it. yeah, I know who you're talking about too. I'm gonna feel dumb for that, but don't make a James Bond cinematic universe. Not needed. If they made a James Bond cinematic universe and we're like, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna have all the James Bonds group up <laughs> and fight all the villains in James Bond. Um, unlimited number war. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's double O double war. O. <laughs> yeah. Double O no. If, if they did, they'd just probably be having a lot of standalone villain movies. Yeah, that's all they would do. First thing they need to do, get a new James Bond. Daniel Craig doesn't want to be James Bond, so just cast a new one. Stop trying to get him to play James Bond. Maybe, you know, cast... I'm trying to think of someone who I... Because I would say Idris Elba because I say him every time, but I'm just trying to think of a random... British actor off the top of my head. I don't know. Uh, Tom Holland. <laughs> Get Tom Holland in there. He's doing everything now. Oh, yeah. So the Han Solo standalone movie, the directors left it like, or got fired. Mm. One of the two. I think it said that they left. And then a couple days later, Disney was like, we fired them because. Um... And then it came out a couple days later that they were talking to. DC about making about directing the Flash movie. First off, the main reason that most people have left doing, um, I'm just gonna say Marvel movies because that's I'm, I feel like Disney's probably doing the same thing with the uh, Star Wars Cinematic Universe as they're doing with the Disney or as the Marvel one where they take directors of popular smaller movies and mm-hmm. like they're doing with Phil Lord and whatever Miller I don't remember his first name where they are. Allowing them to direct the movie, but they have to hit these certain things. Like, they have to have this reference, this reference, this reference. And that's why Edgar Wright stopped doing the Ant-Man movie. He was like, no, I'm not going to direct Ant-Man. Mm-hmm. I feel like that might be why. If it's the weird, they were talking to DC and they and they left because they were going to go, if they're going to go direct mm-hmm. the Flash movie, finish making the movie. They literally had, like, two or three weeks of filming left. Mm. 
and Ron Howard is directing it now. And it's like, you're just going to stop making it and be like, there was three weeks left, you know? Yeah. They're going to, ha- are they going to just have to take their names off of it? Or are they going to leave it? They're probably going to leave their names on it, but it's not going to say directed by mm-hmm. all three of the names. It's going to just, just say directed by Ron Howard. But hopefully it'll be good still. I still have to watch Rogue One. I need to see what else Ron Howard has directed. Because I know he's a very popular director. The Da Vinci Code, Cinderella Man, Inferno, In the Heart of the Sea, that Moby Dick movie. Mm Mm-hmm. And he was also the star of Andy Griffith back in the day. So let's talk about the elephant in the room, the Jumanji trailer. (laughs) How did you feel about that movie after watching the trailer? I still want to see it. It looks like it's going to be a little bit more... It's going to be... It looks like it's going to be a lot different than, like, the things that we saw in the first Jumanji, like, the original Jumanji movie. Mm -hmm. Because I know the original... Like, the um, plot on IMDb was saying, like, the kids get sucked into the video game and they go into the world that Robin Williams... I forgot what his name was. But, yeah, the one that he was stuck in while... Like, until he was 40 years old or whatever. So, it looks a little bit like you're going to see, maybe, I hope that you see some of the same things in that like, one. There's going to be a lot of references, yeah. Yeah, I hope, yeah, like, there's references. I hope you see references, or we hear references. See a lot of the same, like, creatures that came out, like the monkeys and the Those giant. Really bad monkeys. Yeah, but then, like, in, like, the giant, um like, mosquito bug mm-hmm. things. Like, I want to see that. But then, like okay, let's see some new stuff too. Like, got to make it a little bit original, a little newer. Yeah. So, I, but I, I think it's going to be pretty cool. The, the thing I didn't like about the trailer was I knew that it was going to be kids get sucked into a video mm-hmm. game and they become the characters. They gave away what the jokes are going to be with some of the characters. The big jock guy is Kevin Hart now. Uh, I'm short and I can't run fast. They gave those jokes away. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nat Wolf turning into the rock. Mm-hmm. That's good. The I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Yeah. That was funny. <laughs> the hot, popular blonde girl <laughs> turning so, into Jack Black. So funny. I thought that was hilarious. They they gave away their joke, though. It's like, oh, I'm a stuck in a fat guy body now. Yeah. I don't want to watch... I, I just don't want to watch those guys... Like, these actors playing kids playing these actors. Yeah. Because I don't want to... I know that Jack Black can do very... Will be real funny playing the teenage girl. Mm-hmm. But... I don't know. It just they kind of gave away the jokes. Also, and then Nick Jonas just comes in as like this really cool guy. I didn't even see him in the trailer. Did it? Was it? Yeah, I miss he's that? the one who's like, "Watch your step," and then he's flying the plane. Oh, I must have missed that part of the trailer or something. When I they're like know. in the, they're, he's holding a torch, and then all the things go. Phew. Oh, I think I'm, I, I watched it while like, and then I got I was talking to someone too at the same time, so I probably just missed that part. Mm. But okay, <laughs> so. uh the real question is, uh, since The Rock is in this movie, <laughs> will it be bad? <laughs> no, I don't think because so. Because The Rock and Kevin Hart, and yeah, Central Intelligence. It's gonna be one of the, it's gonna be a little bit of a stupid, funny movie. I think at the same time, mm-hmm. I I really want this to become The Rock's Adam Sandler group, like The Rock, Kevin Hart, <laughs> Nick Jonas, Karen Gillan, Karen Gillan, Jack Black, Nat Wolf. They are the new grown ups. <laughs> yep. Where it's just, we need to make movies to make money. So, and then the one guy who's like the nerdy guy, he's like, oh, it's a video game, so we have power, like, or like special abilities oh, yeah. or something yeah. like that, he says. So, like, looks like Karen Gillan's like just a badass, like, she's fighting and stuff. And then uh, you got, I don't even know what The Rocks is yet. I'm sure it's strong. He's just strong. He's just going to be strong and can run fast. Yeah. And then Jack. Black is probably just smart. Smart, and then Kevin Hart is who knows what he is yet. He has a backpack. He don't go on the lot. You don't go. Backpack. No, you don't. Everybody knows that. Also, everyone was right when they were trying to figure out what Karen Gillan's character was going to be because she's stuck in those clothes and she's like this in the trailer. Yeah. Because and it's like, hey, they're not just sexualizing her to sexualize her. Like they are actually just doing that. <laughs> and they're co- but they're commenting on it because good script writing, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm. This is the first rock movie, the rock movie that I'm kind of like. I I might actually Enjoy. go to theaters to see and not just wait for it to come out on DVD to be like, uh, or to be on Netflix mm-hmm. or Amazon Prime. 
But speaking of rock series, Michelle Rodriguez is threatening to leave the Fast and the Furious franchise. Who is she? Oh, boy, I don't know her character name. Hold on. Like kind of like a Hispanic look. Yeah, girl? she's the, she's the Hispanic girl who's been in all of them. Okay. Um, but I can't even remember her name in the movie right now, but I've seen her. I'm, I'm on the, the Letty. Yeah, Letty, that's it. Um, she's threatening to leave if the female characters don't get better parts, which I get. Yeah. Because they're kind of just there. Yeah. In the ones that I've seen. Wasn't there one, I think it was seven, where they like had like an actual like girls fight like they actually had like an action scene but it was like one action scene um it was either was it wasn't it... no i don't think it, it wasn't seven i think it was six it's the one that no i think it was furious seven because ronda Rousey. it was ronda rousey oh well then there's there's that one but then there's also one there's another one too but yeah there was that one there was another one where it was before like Letty didn't remember who she was, or like she didn't remember the gang, and then she oh, fought. They did the amnesia storyline? Well, and then, well, she thought the woman cop who was helping the team. Mm. So there was yeah. that one in that. I think that was six. Was there any female hand to hand combat in uh, eight? I haven't seen eight yet. Oh, okay, I know there's a uh, hacking <laughs> and driving done by females in these movies. Am I wrong to am I wrong to assume that a woman drives a car in one of these movies? Uh, you are not wrong. Ah, oh, thank God. How about we uh, talk about the other trailers we watched okay. that we have seen? Let's talk Can about start with Inhumans. Inhumans, all right. Looks like a Avengers movie being turned into a TV show. Doesn't look like they're trying to do the Netflix thing. Doesn't look like they're trying to be Agents of Shield. Which I'm glad. Like Agents of Shield is good, but it's kind of hard to watch sometimes. It's just, yeah. I, I watched one episode, and I think it it was on, I didn't watch, I didn't, okay. I watched the beginning mm-hmm. of one episode uh, after an episode of The 100, because for some reason it was on CW. Hmm. It's on CW. Um, where it was, I think, the first episode with Ghost Rider in it. Okay, yeah, I haven't seen those ones yet. They're on Netflix now, though, so... I'll probably um, eventually check those out, but I have a lot of stuff on Netflix to watch. So, the trailer it drew me in because it actually like because I was like, oh, I hate this guy, and the guy that can't talk being the main character because his voice is his superpower and it like is powerful. Yeah. Um, I want to see how they're gonna do that in a show because in a comic book it works cuz it's picture you just are looking at it you can read his thoughts and stuff mm-hmm. in a show he if he's not talking and he's your main character that is going to be really difficult for people to be like ooh i want to keep watching this if they're like okay this character is not telling me anything he has to be a very good visual actor mm-hmm. i guess do you think um in humans is going to kind of come together with agents of shield at all Maybe, I want that. It's something I want them to do is like bring all their, one like Infinity War is supposed to be them bringing all their things together, but they're uh, they're not bringing the Defenders in yet. They're not bringing any of the Agents of Shield stuff in yet. It's just all the movies getting brought together, mm-hmm. and I don't think they're ever going to do Avengers meet Defenders, and that would be probably what they would do before yeah. they do any of the Agents of Shield or Inhuman stuff. But they are showing Inhumans. In theaters because they filmed it on IMAX cameras. Mm-hmm. Well, and they, and, well, they have like um, in, in Agents of Shield they call the other they call the Inhuman uh, like call Inhumans Inhumans like okay so so, like the, so that's why I was kind of wondering like maybe they might bring them together. Is Agents of Shield on ABC? I think so I because think that's, that's Disney's tra- Disney. Yeah, I ABC. think that's so. ABC. They probably will do a crossover episode. Yeah. They'll probably they might do. Um, I feel like they might start doing the CW. CW thing where they do crossovers every once in a while. Like you might see Agent Coulson pop up in an episode of Inhumans because mm-hmm. of because he just pops into the middle of the city. So I feel like Shield would get called to that. Yeah. Also, Big I, Dog Boys. Yeah. Well, I think and like I like what I like what um, the Netflix is doing with it, where mm-hmm. they have all their solo stuff and then came together as like the group. Yeah. So it's like they're not like popping up and like they pop up 
by a reference in the yeah. other shows, which is cool. Like I like that. Like, but and you, because they don't of actually... Rosario Dawson. Yeah, but they also don't just like pop pop up in their shows. Mm-hmm. Which um, there's actually something I just passed it. Hold on, with Rosario Dawson, because Fox is doing all their um, X Men shows or X-Men related shows, and mm-hmm. Rosario Dawson was apparently supposed to be in... Uh, Rosario Dawson left the X-Men spinoff New Mutants, which, you know, they're all Marvel properties. Marvel's only doing the Disney-owned ones, though. Mm-hmm. Um, Rosario Dawson being in New Mutants would have been really weird. Because if... Yeah. Which they won't. But if they ever are like, hey, here are the X-Men to Disney, Rosario Dawson would be in both properties. Right. Unless they, unless they completely go like, no, New Mutants are, no. But if she was playing Claire, nah, her name's Claire. We're not giving her anything else. Just yeah. throw her in there. But they just need, I don't know, Rosario Dawson is probably the best character. One of the best characters in all of, top three characters in all of those shows. Mm-hmm. I just really hope that there's a scene where Jessica Jones beats the shit out of Iron Fist. It looks like it's like kind of working up to that in the trailer. It, it looks, looks like, like everyone is just like, "Why is this guy here?" Yeah, but also, why is why is there why is this blind guy here? Huh? Yeah. He doesn't he doesn't have a superpower. He can just fight and see here things. See here things. That's that's how he see hears. <laughs> Am I wrong? I don't know. Also. Kevin Feige still believes Blade will return one day. <laughs> and he's the he's like the president of Marvel Studios. Mm. So could you imagine I don't want to I have you seen any of the Blade movies? I've seen yeah, I have seen them. I or I've seen like at least, if I haven't seen a whole one, I've seen parts of them like and not like short parts though. I've seen pretty Could you imagine Blade <laughs> in the MCU? Those movies would be so bad. They'd be. It'd be weird. I feel like that's just something you can't. Connect. Because it'd be, it'd be, Blade is bloody and kills people, kills vampires. Yeah. And they'd be like, dark room. You just see him going. Unless they throw him in the defenders. Yeah. That would work if they threw him in the Netflix shows. But, but he's not part of the defenders. He's not. But they could just throw him in there. I guess. I think he's been. He's done stuff with. Is Blade coming to Netflix? That's a ju- that was posted on June twenty second. Uh, okay, here we go. Hasbro's new Marvel figures see Blade with the Defenders. Isn't Blade like half vampire, half human? I'm gonna say I think his mom got bit while she was pregnant. Mm. But it says his team affiliations are Avengers of the Supernatural, the Mighty Avengers, Midnight Suns, Vanguard, Night Stalkers, and MI thirteen. I, I just want to see him like he could he they could throw him in the defenders though because mm-hmm. he doesn't have to be part of the defenders but he could be in the show is what I'm trying to say not like because the defenders are just gonna be that group of four but if they make a defender show they make they're making the Punisher show so maybe he could team up with the Punisher because I think him and the Punisher do team up in something anyways uh, I want to leave you I want to leave you guys with a spoiler for War of the Planet of the Apes. The apes win. The spoiler came out 40 years ago, and people are shocked about it, that it came out so long ago. Uh, anyways, It's called Planet of the Apes. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, anyways, <laughs> thank you for listening. Please remember to rate and review us on iTunes. I'm going to try to get us on like other things, because I know you can get podcasts on Spotify, so I have to figure out how to do that, and Google Play, so you can do it on Android and everything. Follow us on Twitter. Email us questions at Best Boy, or Best Boys Podcast at gmail.com. Thank you.